Hello everyone, this is David Smith from Game Careers. Uh, I'm at the Gamescom show uh, in Cologne in Germany. I'm very pleased to have with me Linda Carlson, who is the Director of Global Community Relations for Sony Online. Linda, please, can you introduce yourself? <laughs> well, you've just done that for me, so it makes it very easy. Uh, that really is a very long title, isn't it? Uh, basically, I head up the community relations team. And, uh, I am from the United States. I don't know. I guess we'll cover the rest in the in other questions. Yes, absolutely. Tell us, tell us more about uh, uh, Sony Online and the sort of games that uh, you get involved with. Right. We actually have 14 live games at the moment, and most of our games are MMOs, uh, the massively multiplayer online games. So we have uh, really quite a wide swath of games as well. We've got the old original EverQuest, which was a hit back in 1999, and now is still going strong 12 years later. We've got children's games and free realms and Clone Wars Adventures. We've got a first-person shooter, which is MMO style with Planet Side. We've got Vanguard, Star Wars Galaxies, and all manner of other games. DC Universe Online, we just launched that this year. And we've always got games in development as well. It's very difficult to keep up. And, and how many people would be working in, in Sony Online? Uh, I think that at the present we've got about 700. Okay. And Tell us a, a bit more about uh, uh, your role in, within uh, uh, community relations globally. Right. Uh, community relations is the team that talks directly to the player base through our various arenas such as forums, Facebook, Twitter, uh, in-game events, uh, chat channels, webcasts, podcasts, all of those things. And we like to take the feedback from the player base and carry that back to the development team, the marketing team, PR, and to the executives of the company. So that we always have a dialogue going back and forth where the players have a direct input to what we do with our games. And how did you come yourself to be working at uh, Sony Online in the first place? That's an interesting story, really. I mean, I, I do have a background with management, backgrounds in Canada, but um, I moved to the United States to be with my husband and had to wait a very long time for a green card. So I started volunteering as a guide for EverQuest, which was the game I was playing at the time. So I was an avid volunteer, I started going to the annual fanfares, I started getting to know people within the company, and I always dressed up as a dwarf with a full beard and everything. So I, I became very well known very quickly. I worked in the games media for a couple of years as a freelance writer when I finally did get my green card. And then when the magazine I was working for folded, Sony Online offered me a job. They had gotten to know me over the years as a player, as an advocate, as a volunteer, and they liked my writing. And there I was. It was a very, very, very happy accident because it is really my dream job. Very good. And uh, why would you say uh, Sony Online is a great place to work? Oh, there are so many reasons. It's um, it's not a tiny company, so it's more stable than, say, a startup would be. We, as I mentioned, we have about 700 uh, staff at the moment, and because we have such a broad portfolio of games and always some in development, there's a tremendous amount of lateral movement in the company, so it doesn't matter what department you're in. If you happen to be working for community relations, but you've been doing a lot of game design work in your spare time, and an opening comes up on a team, you can apprentice for them for a period of time, and then they might hire you or uh, simply interview for them if, if a full-time position comes up. So you can start anywhere and move anywhere where you come. And uh, I think you're based in uh, San Diego in, in uh, California. Yeah. Um, why would you say that's a great place to both to live and to work? Well, we actually do have two studios, one in San Diego and one in Austin. Okay. Now, Austin is, I would like to consider it the cultural capital of Texas, and there's a tremendous music scene there. It's a great place to live. I am in San Diego, and San Diego is right on the ocean. The weather is wonderful year-round. It's uh, very close to Mexico for the holidayers. It has a wonderful little airport with excellent access to anywhere in the country and overseas. And uh, it, it's just a very, very comfortable town. Lots of fine dining, lots of culture. And it's not so big as to be uncomfortable with the community. So you can always get to where you're going in a reasonable period of time. Sounds, uh, sounds beautiful. And uh, finally, Linda, what advice would you give a job seeker looking to apply for a job with uh, Sony Online? I warmly encourage anyone who's interested to contact me directly if you put my information up. But in a nutshell, what we're looking for is passion because we are a company of gamers who make games. So passion for the product is very, very important. 
keeping in mind that you may switch from product to product over the year, but the joy of making games, whether you are coming to the company as a, an accountant or a public relations representative, or join the community team, or if you come to us directly as a programmer or a developer of, of any stripe, uh, we are looking for passion. And so that's the most important thing. When you write a cover letter, when you apply for a job, make sure that it's not a form letter. We have to know who you are. You have that one chance to convey yourself. And if you blow that, you're going to be lost in the sea of resumes that we get. Make sure that the resume is up to date and detailed. If you are coming from an artistic background or sound engineering or anything like that, make a portfolio, post it online. Or if you're a programmer, include examples of your code, post it online, give us links so that, we, so that it makes it easy for the people who are coming through 150 resumes to make yours stand out. And understand as well that if you really want to get your foot in the door, one of the best paths within Sony Online Entertainment is to join our uh, quality assurance team or our customer service team. They start out at a fairly low wage, but it gives you direct access to everyone in the company. And if you prove yourself there, I can guarantee you your manager in customer service or, or uh, quality assurance will recommend you for positions when they come open. Great advice, uh, Linda Carlson, uh, Director of Global Community Relations at Sony Online. Thank you very much. We would love to have you working with us.